All right, want to take a minute to say what's up? Welcome back to more Elden Ring. Hey, all the love and support, all the likes each day, the active support, the viewership, the nice feedback, the emails, the tweets, all the helpful documents you send me. I have like a folder in my business email now. Uh, it just says Elden Ring. <laughs> It's like all the help I've gotten. Oh, by the way, last time we got a lot of armor uh, that I, I wanted to check out, um, but I didn't have time to. I'm going to stick with this for now mostly, but um, I checked out some of these when I wasn't recording, and I just... It's like the damage negation is like the biggest thing for me. Like, I really want to rock the Raging Wolf set, the original Bloody Wolf set, but I just... I don't know. By the way, got this to plus nine. Um, got I had to get my Arcane to 20 to use this. I have it right at 20, by the way. Um, as you see my stats on the right hand corner, I got, <laughs> I, I, I respect, I had faith at 25, I put 5 from that into Arcane, and then I leveled up the rest. It took me a long time. I think I spent the last two days grinding just to try to get more souls, not souls, runes or whatever. Um, I got the Rivers of Blood to plus 9, so it kind of matches. Granted, it does scale with Dexterity mostly. Uh, Arcane's D, Strength E. I, instead of using the Great Shield, which I was using... I didn't know that this weapon, the Blasphemous Blade we got from a few parts back, if you pair it with anything, as long as it's just on your other hand equipment, does it can even be on like your back or whatever. Um, as long as it's on you, you get like health on kill. It's the craziest thing. I paired that with this thing, successful attacks, restore HP, and restores HP upon defeating enemies. When I kill an enemy now, I get a lot of HP back, which is crazy. So, um... All right, so here's a few things. I wanted to see how you get the other section over here unlocked. I had no idea. Uh, so I went on uh, my email and I found something that somebody sent me that says you need to go to the Grand Lift and you got to, like, change it. But before that, you have to find two pieces of, like, another type of thing. One is apparently up here, which will be going there in this video because it's also part of the main, I guess, quest line. The other one apparently is, like, way down here. I don't know how anybody finds this. I'm going to show you this. The location. There's just like an NPC there. And I'll show you what they actually gave me. It, it's the craziest thing. You, like... I don't know how anybody... Like, if, if I didn't have any help, I don't think I'd make it. I wanted to try this weapon out for this video. It's, it's really strong. Uh, like, it's like a vampire build, essentially. <laughs> I, like, I absorb everything. Yeah, there's an NPC right here. This is the person that gives it to you. A chosen land awaits us, Albinorix. The medallion is the key that leads to the city. It's only a quaint treasure for we who cannot make the journey. But for dear Latena, it is needed to fulfill her purpose. And the uh, item, under key items here, it is this right here. So we had these two originally. Then we had the rolled medallion uh, for the other one. These are all like do like the grand lift stuff. Deck this rolled, and then now we got this one. Uh, join this one. So we got the right half, which it's odd. Like, why is it all the way back here? All right, I haven't explored this section. That's all I did while I wasn't recording. I didn't do anything else. I had a lot of stuff I wanted to do. Um, there's another talisman I'm trying to get right now, but it's like part of a quest line. Wait, what is this bridge? So we'll check it out. We kind of switching between this weapon and the uh, the moon veil. <clears throat> I here's what I did. I wanted to, I didn't want to plus nine anything else, but I used this for a little bit, and I was like, man, I really really like this weapon a lot. And it's just, it's nice. You can take damage. And you'll see me kind of get all that health back. It, you don't have to use as many, uh... That has a lot of attacks, too. But it also uses a lot of FP. So, I'm thinking what I could do... Wait, what? What I could wind up doing... And, by the way, my health bar is only that large because I'm using the Great Rune. <laughs> that gives you, like, 500... And what is this? Touch to gold summon. What? Why would I summon somebody here? I'm playing offline, so it has to be like a AI thing. Uh, I don't think I need... Is there a boss or something down here? Hey, let me see what they're doing. Summoning cooperator. That's so odd. 
I am playing offline. I, I refuse to play on online right now because I don't. I've seen a lot of the stuff like people get trolled, like jump here, go there, and I don't. I don't want any of that in this series. I want to just kind of have it all offline. All right, so they're with me, but why are they with me? Does it make any sense? We just summon a random NPC for no reason. Wait, Omen Killer. Oh, this enemy right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. How much? Oh, this is an early game boss, so not somebody that. Oh, so that person... See, I didn't use any flask right there. Crucible, not Talisman. Oh, let me see this one. It looks like one of these, doesn't it? Am I crazy or is it not there? Here it is. Reduces damage and impacts of headshots? What? Doesn't make any sense. Like, why, though? But yeah, I've just been enjoying this uh, sword a lot. I, I don't know what I'll wind up doing as far as, like, I mean, da damage-wise, it does a lot. I have I always thought health on kill would be strong. It, it can kind of help me if I get into a situation where I want to spam the attacks. I'm at 12 flasks and then one of this one. I could do, like, a... I don't know. I could do, like, an eight, 8 and 5 if I wanted to. Anyways, let's go ahead and head back up. Enough of this area. Um, a few things I do want to check out down the road. I'm going to do this, but... There's a lot of stuff I want to check out after I finish the game uh, in a new game plus or just checking it out later on. Uh, all right. We went to we, we fought the fire giant in the last video, which I think was the absolute one of the best bosses in the game. 100%. It was fun. It was kind of scary. The scale uh, of everything. Then we go to the forge. The, the forge, she is apparently supposed to take us to another area. I don't know if you can come back to this one before that. So I wanted to kind of. Check out this side of the map, and then when I was like, how do I get there? That's when I found out about the Grand Lift. You got to swap it, and then it'll take you down through here. All right. Let's head up here. Um, freezing Lake. I think this is what we need to do. Hold on. Where, let me see something really quick. The person I was talking to, I'll show you. They may be at this one. I can't remember where they're at. But it's the quest line where I helped the guy at the little cabin. Um, I don't know if she's here. Yeah, she's not at this one. Might be one of the other ones. Overlook, uh, Freezing Lake. Anyways, I forgot her name. But she was around here. She said she just... She keeps telling you where to go. You just keep going there. I haven't really done anything without recording. I just... I mean, kind of doing the dialogue and stuff to speed it up. She has a talisman that apparently raises your dexterity. And, like, your... Scales your attacks and stuff with consecutive hits and everything. And I really want it for this build. Um, I'm just, I think I have to do some of this other stuff first. The area I have to go to for that quest, I have to unlock the next Grand Lift, and this is kind of why I'm coming over here for this. Apparently we got a little castle down here. Hey, it's one of those things. Alright. Yo, can I... What if I can go to the right cabin and then go back? Because I think that's the only way to get down there. Hey, I've had so much fun with this game. Thank you so much for joining me each day, uh... Uh, the beast eye quivers. Okay. Oh my god, it's one of these again. I don't know if you can kill those things. Okay, that's not... Is there two of them? Oh my god. There's three of them. Oh, oh there's... Okay, maybe it's just... Okay, so hold on, let's see if there's multiples. I, I can't tell. I saw the beast eye quivers. I don't know... Buddy. I've been playing all these other games and every day I'm just like, I want to play more Elden Ring. That's all I want to do. I think it's absolutely one of the best games I've ever played. And, uh... Oh no, Death Right Bird. What is this? I still think I like the Moon Bell just a touch better. Oh my god. Okay. okay. I mean, I... 
I might do the consecutive hit thing and change, or not change, change it off. See, I give me a little health. Not a lot, though. I think the moon belt might just be a, like, I wouldn't say a, a lot better. Oh, I got frostbite. What is that? Uh, I'm assuming that lowers my stamina or something. I feel heavier. I'm getting munched on. What is this? Oh, I don't have the other weapon equipped. I was like, wonder why I'm not. Uh, yeah, the Blasphemous is everything. Okay, this enemy hits like a truck. I got a two-handed to get the uh, effect going. Going up. Let's go. What a fight. I thought that was a great enemy for a minute. That thing was tanky. 77,000. Death Ritual Spear. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know if Blasphemous gives you health on hit or health on kill. I think is here, Here's... like The game doesn't tell you. You'd think passive effects would have that on there. You don't have to have it actually equipped. I think it does have to be like in the slot over there. Um, you need... I think the reason it's got an X over it, I need... Yeah. I took my faith from 25 to 20... It's kind of an act of desperation because I really just wanted to try this weapon out. Um, but overall, I'm glad I did it. <laughs> that was a tanky. That was a tanky boss. What in the world? Um, is this? This doesn't take us over there, though. Hold on. So how do we get a little path over here? Cause this was like just a cliff. Yo, look at all that space over there. Um. Okay, maybe maybe you can't get over here until you do the grand... Well, that wouldn't make sense. The grand lift, you have to get the item from up here, I think. I could be wrong. As you can see, the castle area... Yeah, there's the thing right there. Okay, that was a tough fight. Was not expecting that to start the video, but hey, it got us to test out the... Uh, got us to test out the build and everything. Yeah, here's the right area. I want to figure this out because I would like to... Oh, so somebody asked me to see what you get for the... Uh... Oh, let me get this really quick first. <laughs> Before we do anything. What you get for the remembrance. I guess I could show you that really quick. I've already forgotten. Uh, let's see. Let me see if I didn't turn it in already. Uh, I don't know if it's under key items or... I might have already turned it in. Let me, hold on, let me go back and see. Oh, apparently if you want to go to Sign of Grace, you can do it like this. And just like, go to that way. I, I started doing that earlier, but I still like just kind of going across the map. Because then sometimes I'll see stuff. Alright, let's see what they have for us. It's kind of a weird... Why is it so dark in here? Something change? Uh, wait, what in the world? Who is this? Wait, that was a great enemy. I, I have no idea what just happened. I mean, I'll take it. Clinging bone. All right. Okay, um, here's all the stuff, right? So, you could purchase all these different things. Yeah, I've already used it. I want to say it was a weapon and then like a, an ability. I don't know which one I got. Can I go to my inventory? Here it goes. Um, well, let me, hold on, let's go to equipment first. I don't, the thing is, I don't know if I got it or not. If it's not this, then it's definitely, I think it, I think it was the ability. I'll rest and show you really quick. He has like two things. I might just duplicate it so I can get the other one too. Um, 
I need to find the other spot so I can use the other great runes. I've heard some of them do some really cool stuff. I haven't used Ashes of War in a long time. I like the altar stuff because it doesn't really change anything. It just it's like it removes the cape almost. Memorize spells. I want to say it was the flame of it might. It's one of these, the fire ones. I've got so many that I don't really use. Oh, the reason I, I'll show you something I really like. <laughs> I I may not use this because it does kind of it. it like weird on your eyes almost I did not mean to do that you know what I gotta remove those I'm trying to do this it lights up there like I don't I don't know if I like that it's cool but I don't think I'll use it I, I wasted one of those other things I may take those off just so I don't accidentally use them again all right let's head on back up um yeah I think we're going up here to the castle Taking care of business. I, I just got my, my car worked on today, and it was like... The whole time I was there, I was like, Yo, I'm ready to get back and play some Elden Ring. <laughs> that's, all, that's all I want to do. All right, each one of these is kind of like its own puzzle. Um, this might be one of those where you can't... Can't do anything until you get above us. See. It could be something like that. I see if I see any. Could be a uh, instance where you can jump onto it. I don't see. I don't think you could use your horse in the castle though. It'd have to be a different spot. Each one of these has its own like little puzzle, if you would. I didn't see any. I'll come back to this later. What I like about these things is it's like. It reminds me of Shadow of the Colossus, how when you first get to it, you got to figure out, like, a, like, the puzzle for it. Like, how do you get this? How do I get onto the Colossus? That's, that's like, essentially what the whole game's about. You know, you, you can see it from a distance. It's huge. How do you get up there, you know? That's not the... I don't like seeing that as soon as I walk in here. Um... Like the last area of this game, the enemies are super tanky. Yeah, the only thing about this versus Moonbell, my honest opinion on it, I think this does a little more damage overall. Hey, we got we got a somber seven from that. If this uses more stamina, more FP, you can't do burst attacks. Um, so you can't just run up and do like one and done. And then go, you have to like really commit to the combo. It reaches though. I got another one. Let's go, baby. My worry is they're going to respawn now if I go rest. I don't think I want to, though. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm torn. I don't know which one I like better. Moonbell versus that. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's close. It's very close. I think Moonbell currently is, is my go-to. If I, if I get into a situation where I'm just like, I really need to beat this, I might switch, you know? But I, I think I'm fine right now. I'm just going to try to use it for this video at, at least, you know. Give, give it a shot. A lot of people told me, hey, the moon bell's not the meta anymore. It's this thing. But I got them both to plus nine just in case one gets nerfed. Imagine they both get nerfed <laughs> at the same time. Same patch. My, my biggest fear is spending all my materials to level up a weapon. And then just before I finish the game, before I fight the last boss or the toughest one coming up, all my stuff's nerfed, and I'm going to have a really hard time, you know? It's a pretty, like, pretty big area for, like, only the two enemies, you know what I mean? It's like there should be more, more here than just that. Oh, there's another, oh, there's, wait, what? 
Oh, no, not these. Yeah, you get that damage quick, though. I like that. And you can kind of farm enemies in between. Yeah, the one talisman I'm not sold on is this one. Success of a means, like, repeated attacks is like, yeah, I don't know, like, I'll hit the two and nothing will happen. So I don't know if it's like, you gotta have a big combo or what? I like the noise, though. The little, it's like a suction noise anytime you get, it's like the vampire uh, healing type thing. I've seen videos of this kind of build, and I'm like, they call it like the vampire build. That wasn't really what I was going for. I honestly just looked at this weapon, and uh, somebody, somebody sent me an email and was like, Yo, why are you using the Great Show? Why don't you put on that Blasphemous as your second-hand weapon? I'm like, why would I do that? I'm not going to dual wield. And uh, they replied saying that, oh, no, no, it heals you. <laughs> I was like, oh, I didn't know that. So, it's better than a shield. Oh, there's a... Uh... I think it looks cool. It kind of reminds me of that... It's like an ability in uh, Sekiro, or Se Sekiro, whatever people call it. I still don't know to this day, like, what people prefer to call it as. Well, let me use my flask before I die here. This is definitely going to be a tough, tough area. Yeah, there's no stagger on this either. Yeah, it doesn't, like the other one, it feels like it stuns him a lot. There we go. That looks like those, those three quick hits I just got right there on them. Like, I don't think you get that with Moonbell. With Moonbell, you're more big stagger hit. I, I haven't tried Moonbell, uh, unable to acquire, oh, acquire, but I guess I had too many in my inventory. Wait, is that what was glowing? Oh no, it's the side of grace. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Can't go through there. All right. It's probably the middle hallway right there behind me. Hey, let's go. I gotta tell you the uh, the enemies so far. The, everything's been challenging. I'm really leveled up, so like you would think, oh, it's gonna be easy. He's high level. It's not. It's it's legitimately pretty tough every time. He's just somebody you talk to. What is this? Eclipse? Uh... Alright. What does this person say? Same thing? Okay. Kinda just taking my time with this area because I don't quite know uh, what I'm getting into here. I, I do love the name of the ability though. Corpse Piler. <laughs> it's such a, such a strong... Uh, oh well. It was actually on. I thought it was off. I was like, why is it so dark? Oh, no, you don't. Coming at you, baby. Get my health back. Yeah, I haven't tried. I, I thought about this. Using... What's that? Oh, wow. I, I mean, this has... One array of attacks. Moonvel is like the horizontal and the vertical type thing. So I don't know what I like better. I'll be kind of playing with both as much as I can. But look at the health I just got back. I don't know if that's mostly blast, but I might die here. Kind of just it. Let me just go ahead and double here really quick. <laughs> okay. I think I know what I prefer here. Hordes of enemies is better. Oh my god. Hey, that, that thing cooked right there. I did not mean to fall down two times. Um, hold on. 
Yeah, you kind of burned through some FP. I thought maybe to counter that, a few things I'll kill you. I'm just kind of playing aggressive for no reason. No reason for me to be doing all this. Oh, right, yeah. Almost gives me a full bar. I'll take it. All right, there's a few things. This one, you know, lowers FP consumed by skills. I think it's really worth it using that. Now, there's also this thing. Restores FP upon defeating enemies. I, I don't like it. I, I tried it before, and I, I think I said it in previous parts. Like, everybody's like, yo, you should use that. And I'm like, I did. And, oh, we got a boss. Can, can I rest at the... I don't know. Can I go... I'm going to... I'm going to go back and rest at the bonfire. Actually, I'll explore this area a little bit more, and then I'll come back to that. Because... Yeah, I've already kind of committed the... Killing all these enemies in here, but I was burning through, like, my FP flask and all that stuff. So we'll check out, like, around the corner over here or something. Just anything else. Yeah, we got a little section over here. I guess we're going up top. Getting shot at. Hold on. I, I really want to use different armor. It's driving me crazy. Like, I would love to use some of the other armor in the game. Yeah, farming, like, the mobs and stuff. Oh, my God. Let's go hop down and fight them, but let's see what's around over here. Where, wait, where are we at right now? We're behind everything. Is this one of those kick down ladders? Descend. Oh, I bet you that's how you get up there. Look at that. It's right up on the castle area. 100% that's how you do it. I I think... Hold on. Yeah, it looks like you can make that jump, maybe. Do I hop down? Whatever. Let's go. You gotta be... You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. Can't get back here, can you? Now you want to go invisible. It doesn't stun enemies as quickly either. I'm trying to just move out the way. Oh, no, I thought I... So, here's what happened. I got kind of caught up fighting, and I was like... The difference like, he I guess the healing, it just, it's so slow, you know? Like, what do you do? That's fine. I may go back to that spot and still fight him, but... I kind of wanted to do the boss fight, but... Oh, where's my stuff at? It's back over here. No, actually, yeah, it'd be through here to the other side. I think I can take him. It was like the only enemy right there. Yeah, I, I might try the Blasphemous Blade with the Moonbell. Quick attacks. It's fast. Hold on. I'm, before I ruin anything, I'm removing those. Because I, I've almost accidentally popped the rune thing or whatever. Because I do not want to have that happen. Is that you don't get many of those? I feel like against mobs, this is definitely the better of the, the two. Ah, at least. Yeah, there's no staggering. There is no staggering. I don't know if it's worth it to fight this guy. I'll fight and I'm going to die here. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know. I'm trying to just commit to using this weapon, but I know for a fact if I had the moon bell, I would have destroyed that guy. I'm going to switch back for a minute because I, I feel like... The consecutive attacks are nice. I want to try it with... Yeah, with the Blasphemous Blade. We'll try it out. 
I could just have on both, I guess, since I technically... Yeah, let me just do that. I don't think it would make me too heavy. Let's see. Medium load. Yeah, me medium load still. It's close, but having... Man, having three of these and I'm still good? I'll take it. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what would be better. It's, it's crazy I can fight these bosses and I kill them first try sometimes. Then I run into this NPC. Or not this NPC, this uh, other type of enemy that's not a boss. And it's like, good gracious, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> and you get stuff back for it. Yeah, that's that's 100% how you get on that thing. I'm I'm sure of it. I might just if I kill this enemy, I might go back up anyways. Yeah, look at that stagger effect. The stagger effect on that. Ooh, wait a minute. What is this? It's a talisman, right? Greatly raises maximum FP. It takes it from 220, what I currently have, to 239. Hmm. Not that much. So that's what they were guarding. Okay. I was like, why is this? There had to be something good here, you know? All right, I don't think you can go anywhere. Maybe you can hop down right here. Different path, maybe in there. I don't know. Let's go fight this boss, shall we? All right. Yeah, I'll kind of keep it like this where I can switch between the two. I don't know which one I like better. I'll try to continue using this one, but yeah, like for that one, like a... Uh, a boss, I prefer the Moonbell. For, like, enemies, I kind of prefer the other one. So. I think we can just run back over here. Should be safe. By, by the way, I think uh, out of all the parts I've done so far, my absolute favorite to make. I don't know why I just did that. My absolute favorite to make is, uh, let's just go ahead and fight. Hold on, because I, I feel like I got to run past these enemies anyways. Um, yeah, let's just rest. I, I just want to top off, because why not? My favorite one to make, it's like every time I record, it becomes like my next favorite. Because I, I thought fighting like the crucible knight early on in the game was definitely something i was not expecting to be as much fun as it was uh and then you had oh yeah these enemies are gonna pop back up that's fine if i run past them they can't get me see ya i bet you there's something hidden to the light like the left there's like a lift or whatever right there here we go He summons knights? Oh no. Can I just go after him, I wonder? Yeah, this is gonna be a moon bell fight, probably. This is gonna be a problem. Not only am I fighting him, I'm fighting two of these, and there's I don't feel like there's any reason. gonna be one of these all right I think I heard about this fight hey somebody told me to watch out for somebody who summons two knights I just didn't think it would be here but after seeing all the enemies outside it kind of makes sense because it's like any kind of dungeon or castle uh, what you kind of run into along the way to get to a boss usually is like the telltale sign of what you may fight but every now and then I'm throwing like a curveball we'll see 
I'm just glad it's right here. Yeah, I feel like if this boss is by himself, he would get cooked. <laughs> it's probably good he had that, that help, you know what I mean? Because I already saw the damage I was doing. I was thinking I probably could take him out, but we'll see. damage. There's no reason a knight should have like a tornado attack like that. Trying to just dodge everybody. One die. I'm assuming he's summoned them again. you now. Let's go. Definitely a tough boss, for sure. That right there, I don't know what he's doing. That extra hit in. You gotta do it. What is that? Fight. That ain't good. Okay. Veterans, uh... Alright. So we got the prosthetic leg, essentially. <laughs> hey... I, that was a tough fight. I, I'd say that's definitely one of the top few hardest ones I've actually had to do. I'm not sure what really made it as hard as like some of the other ones, but it is... I don't know. It, it's tough. It's its really tough. Um, let's see what's up. Oh, that's actually where I had the thing marked. I can take this off now. I don't know what item we actually need. Um, I think we're looking... I don't know if it's here or somewhere else. My my biggest fear was when we fought that knight. It's crazy because I, I just died to the same one like twice beforehand. Uh, my my biggest fear was when I fought the knight, I would have an issue with um like them respawning if I killed him. But I'm glad they didn't. There's the other half. Nice. Forgive me. The sun has not been swallowed. Our prayers were lacking. Okay. Your comrade remains soulless. I will never set my eyes upon it. Okay. That's the name of the actual medallion. So we got both of them now. All right. As much as I would love to sit here and explore this area. Um, I'm torn because do I, do I want to try to make it? Is there a side of grace in the middle? I see one right there, but I don't know if I've already gotten that one. I'm pretty sure I did, though. I'd have to figure out how to get up top to then hop on that. Uh, part of me would like to do that, but other part of me would just like to say I'll come back here later on. Because these knights are annoying. 
put back on this one. I don't know. I like this attack a lot. But it leads you. You can now you can stop it. You can do like two, and then stop. Yeah, I, I may take off this because I don't think it's really helping. I, I really don't think it is. Um. Okay. Well, we got the other one. Let's go ahead and use the grand lift. I. I so I'm assuming we we come here now. Uh. Let's see. Let's try it out. Hopefully, it's something simple. I don't know. I just hope I can figure out what it is. Somebody said you just hit switch or something. That's kind of odd to make you come back here. Hoist medallion. Switch action, right? Hoist secret medallion. Oh, wow. That's such a small, like, to, to know you need to go there. I don't think anybody would, would guess that. Here we go. That's such, like, they need to give you some context clues or something. Come on. Definitely odd. So that's like we get to a secret area. This is a tunnel. Huh. It's like the oddest thing, you know? Oh no. We're gonna be met with a boss. I man, that boss I just killed, that that was a tough fight. I had more trouble because I was just like, man, the attacks did a lot of damage, they were fast. Almost every boss has that one attack where it's like you go up and you're coming down. You know what I mean? The beast eye quivers. Oh, no. Not again. Not these guys. Let me low. Yeah, for small adds and stuff like that, I, I like this weapon a lot. I, I'll kind of mess around with both of them even when I'm not recording and just kind of see, like, what I prefer. We're at the fight in here, 100%. There's no way we're just getting this item and leaving. Warmings. Oh my god. All the damage. I'm out. See? You. Like I, every enemy, no matter what it is, can have a big attack where they jump up. All right. Enough of this. Look at that stagger. The other one doesn't do that. I, I don't know. Is Moon Bell better? I don't know. Seems to help me a little more. I don't know. I turned around. I did not, I did not expect to see that. <laughs> I was like, what is this? What are we doing? I bet there's a secret spot right here. No. We're chilling. So they had two boss fights in this video already. Oh. Farm these smaller enemies for a minute. I know, wrong one! Oh, come on. Okay, the commitment right there kind of got me. I might die. What? That's 
nice that you can just like erase what I did. Yeah, even though I feel like I'm leveled up a lot, I feel like I don't do any damage. I don't want to fight another one of those. I really don't. A hey, sight of grace. I will take it. Please and thank you. This is one of those sections we'll never have to come back to ever again, I'm pretty sure. You know what I mean? Like the... Uh, There's a person right here. Show me the path, oh gentle lights. Promised path to the... Halic tree? I don't know how you say that. Okay. Um, do we have a... Now, there's a path right here. We've somehow seen where the, uh, the map fragment is. I will just follow the road, I suppose. I think I can go straight up right here. I'm just gonna go for it. Might go off a cliff, but hey, it's all good. Enemy's right there just chilling. I love it. You love to see it. Nomadic cookbook, okay. Who was that? I don't know where I'm going. There's like these little lights or whatever. Interesting. I'm not sure if I'm going the right way. Uh, one of these. I'll put it on the map at least. There we go. Uh, let's go north. I can't see anything. So I'm just trying to get to the map fragment as quick as I can. That way I can at least know, like, what may be next to me, you know? Reminds me of Silent Hill 2 right now. Oh, I thought that was like... I thought it was something like big right there. Like the graphics were like loading in and it looked like an object. I didn't know what it was. Yeah, up here. I think I see the little tower for it. Yep. That is a big stump right here. Hey, let's go. I could probably scale like more arcane with this. Well, actually, I think dexterity is still the way to go. Um, what is in front of us? Oh, right, this area is not as big as I thought. We'll look around. We got something up here. It's like a little spooky area. I don't know. I haven't seen one side of Grace, which makes me a little bit nervous. Is this is this a boss fight? What in the world? It's not a boss. It's like a little different though. Probably like a magic area. You know, where you gotta find like... There's like a puzzle. Because it definitely looks like one of those other areas. Hmm. Probably like a puzzle to it. We can go down here. Oh wait, what is this called? That's why I love this game so far. I never know what I'm getting into. Side of grace. No. They can't attack me, okay? Kind of odd, but I will take it. Definitely really peaceful and quiet here for some odd reason. Can't go through there. Everybody's just chilling. Keep thinking I see a side of grace, but there's it's like there's a oh wait a minute. Hey, what? All this for whatever this is. Uh this kind of looks like that other door. Hold on. 
Held by... Okay. It's sealed shut. Now, last time we had that happen, we had to go kill a dragon. That's still what I like about this game. Look in the distance, you see I'm, like, patrolling. <laughs> it's so cool. I uh, like the four figures. Okay. I see a ladder right there. This is just like that other section. I think I see the spots where you gotta light them. Yep, there's a ladder. On each one, it looks like. Hold on. Hey, I I'm so excited to kind of see, like, what happens with, like, the next From Software thing now. Because now that I've kind of committed to this, and actually, you know... I'm, I'm hoping I can finish it. I've heard of a, a certain boss fight coming up that I'm pretty nervous about. I did not mean to hop down. Let's just hop down all the way. Probably something back here we could find and maybe loot. Like over here on this body. Crystal dart. Okay. Nothing major. Hey, ladder right here. Here we go. Get it back. Wait, is this door open? Oh, no, you can't even open it. Can't even interact with it. That's the best kind of door, right? <laughs> I can't even touch it. That's cool. You got to go all the way down and go all the way up. So we got to light four of these this time. Well, this isn't one. Uh, I don't think this... Wait, what are you... S this can't be the right thing. You have to come up here for some reason, right? Is that a sight of grace? It is. I'm going down to it. I don't... My worst fear right now is dying and not knowing how to get back over here. Well, I guess I could find it. It wouldn't be that hard. Yeah, let me go ahead and rest here. Because... <laughs> I haven't seen this area much and I'm like, kind of need this. Yeah, it's just, uh, there's another item there. There's just four door, or four sills. We gotta, I guess, change or whatever. So I'm, I'm not sure, uh, I thought this was one of them. But it's not. The tower, I mean, all the ladders go up. There's gotta be something I'm missing. It's gotta be like, uh, maybe you light one and you can't light the other ones until you finish certain ones. I don't know. Got to go in certain order, maybe. Hold on. It's... It might not even be here. In the Evergall. Oh, wait a minute. It's this thing. Yeah, it's this thing. This is where we fight those bosses normally, I think. That's what it's called. It's like... Okay. Changes the area. Got you. Now you can go up there and do it. Oh, you... Oh, wow. Well, we know where one is. I'm assuming there's going to be enemies here now. We go and hop down and go to this one down here. 100% there's going to be enemies here. Oh, I can almost make that. Might be hidden areas. Hold on. I wonder, like... Side of Grace and stuff isn't here anymore. Hmm. I don't see any difference. You can't use the map right here because you're kind of... You it, you enter this, it's kind of like where you fight those enemies. I'm assuming we got to fight something here in a minute. Now, let me hop up here because this could have been one. Light flame, yep. What the... No idea where I just get hit from. There's two? And they're in biz. What in the world is this? I can do like an assassination on you. Craziest thing. Hold on. You. What in the world? 100% I'm going to die in here.
No idea where you're at, buddy. You. I hope there's just one of these. Because this is a unfair fight. Cool. Very cool. All right. What if there's a way to, like, make them appear? You know what I mean? Because that's, uh... That's a touch excessive, to say the least. Not only can I, I... I can't lock on. I can't hit you. I can't do anything. Um... You were then all the... Oh, my stuff's here. That actually makes it a lot easier. Okay. I don't know what to use here for this, because I feel like... The moon valve... Yeah, it's cool. It might do more, more damage than a single hit, but I'm also burning, like, everything in one spot. Versus this, I'm kind of well in a way, just hoping... Hoping for something to happen, you know? I don't know if, uh... The one I did light is still lit or not. So I have to find out. Let's just... Hold on, let's just try to avoid... Uh... That enemy, if we can. Or, you know what would might... It might be good to put my back against a wall somewhere. I didn't think about that. Can't summon a horse here, so... How do we get... Up top there? Well, I, I could just keep running, you know? If I get hit, I get hit. I see, like, I guess the outskirts, you can't go too far. What about feet in the snow type thing? Nothing. Maybe it's after you like the first one. I don't know. Maybe I get him stuck on something. This reminds me of Bloodsport. <laughs> John claude Van Damme. Hey, it's, it's still lit. There we are. Kind of using my stamina gauge right now. Using my stamina gauge to see if I'm next to the enemy. Because it only goes up. If I, if I keep moving... Can I get a stats then? We'll see. The thing is that assassination does a lot of damage. I'm out. I don't know if that's the only one or not. Definitely think Moonval would have been a little tough to use right there. My hope is that's the only one, but I'm also kind of worried that maybe. Uh. Man, I don't know. How, how am I supposed to. Let me go around this way. Hold on. No, you can't. Okay, never mind then. Normally, getting on top of the rooftops would be easy, but... Like, I can't get to this one on the right. I need to, like, do a perfect jump over there. Oh, let's go. Let's go, baby. I don't know if that was intended or not. I don't think it was. Man, if there's one per, like, torch... It might be kind of tough. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just hoping that that was a one-and-done type enemy. I'm assuming once we get this one, be two out of four. Um, loot down there. Let's see. There's one up there on that roof. So we know we need to go over there. Um, it looks like you can hop down here. Go across and then... What is that noise? Oh 
don't know. Oh my god! What kind of damage was that? Excuse me? I was not anticipating taking an L like that. Um... Man, I don't know. It's like, I, I get in there, I get, I get one, and then, I don't know, it's, it's just tough. I gotta get back on this rooftop before I can start it up again, because if I die, I lose almost 300k, which is, normally I wouldn't care, but if I can slap that in a, like an arcane type, plus one, just do a little extra damage, I would love to do that. So we come over here, we're gonna have to just run, yeah, we're gonna have to just go for it. Problem is, those enemies are gonna be back now. Even the invisible one. Here we go, man. Two out of four done. I was not expecting this to even be a thing. Alright, so we know the route here. Hop down here. Jump to the side. Kind of cheese it a little bit. Now I go up. Now we should be able just to go straight across here. Those enemies, though, I, I don't know. I could put back on the... Uh, the great shield from the tree sentinel. Apparently it's supposed to like deflect everything back. It'd be kind of cool. I don't know if it deflects that or not though. Okay. Um, I'm just going to kind of go for it again. It's the triple barrage I think is what does so much damage. And there's two of them. kind of nervous because this is three and I don't know where four is at. I have no idea. We got those. I think it's got to be down low somewhere. No idea where the last one's at. I think it is down low somewhere though. I, I, I could have sworn I saw like saw something um Hmm, I don't know. I'm trying to just think like where would it be? It, it might be is it is that it over there? Or where the tip of my sword is. Like in that? I don't see a ladder or anything. Yeah, it's gotta be down low somewhere. Which if we go down here, we're gonna have to fight, you know what? Kinda knew you were gonna be there. Hold on. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and top off. Okay, there's the one right there in front of us. We, okay. Is there a chance there's one up top? Now that we got him aggroed, it's going to be a constant fight. You got to be kidding. That other enemy's nearby, 100%. I don't think you kill it and get it, get away. You know, I think it just respawns over and over. I'm gonna look around the other side here. Unless it's up those giant stairs right there. I, I don't think so, though. That wouldn't make any sense. We're not next to an enemy, so that's good. Almost seems like there's something back here too, doesn't it? I got a dungeon or something. Kind of odd all this is back here for no reason, you know? 
Here we go. Yeah, I was going to stop after uh, we got over here, but I kind of want to solve this before we, you know, end everything. If I possibly can. I got to find that last one, though. Um, is that... It might be up in there. I don't think there's a ladder there. Hold on, let me see. I know if I run through here, I'm going to aggro that enemy. I haven't been hit yet by that enemy. I'm assuming I'm about to get assassinated at any minute. Hmm. I just do not know where that last one's at. No idea. I thought maybe it was up here, but... I, I don't know. I'm starting to think it may be up top again. Oh, some spots back here. Hold on. Haven't really been back here yet. Yeah, it's definitely back here. 100%. I, I feel like there's going to be something else back here, too. Ladder right here, too. Yep, this has to be it. Okay. I'm assuming this is, like, the last one. Yeah, there's two ladders. It's definitely this thing. Here we go. Last but not least... A cell was broken in town. Okay. Now, I think we can... What does that... Guess and we get a cutscene from that. Oh, we're just back here now. Okay. So now we can go up there. Not sure what just happened there. Pretty interesting puzzle. See what we got. Travel to another location. <laughs> Here we go. It'd be funny if it's like back to the original area, like the beginning of the game. What in the world? Uh Okay. Well, I will save this for the next video. <laughs> Because <laughs> I don't know what is going on. Look at all the stuff down here. Yeah, we're going to be here a while. 100%. All right. Love you all. I will catch you on the flip side. I did not expect to see this when I came through here. We're actually on the tree. That And look at all the spots you can go. Oh, my God. He was just crazy about this. This section, the size of it's like the size of this, you know? Like, if you look at, like, the outskirts of it, there might be a lot of stuff here. All right. I'll catch you on the flip side. Best audience ever. Talk to you soon. Peace out.